everybody. Jake Raby here, Flat 6 Innovations, coming to you with another Renvision Flat 6 Minute. So here we have disassembled an M9701 engine. This will be an uh, engine from a 2005 through a 2008 9971C2S. Um, this is the 3.8 liter engine and it has classic bore scoring. Now what you see here is what the spark plug looked like on one of the afflicted cylinders when we pulled it out of the cylinder head. Now this has just got a tremendous amount of burned carbon on it. The engine's been consuming oil, obviously. And the reason why is because we've got this nice cylinder scoring that is basically taking out the pistons along with the cylinders. And um, to give you an idea what this is supposed to look like, it's supposed to look like this. So this still has the factory skirt coating on the piston. And in this cylinder, it's been completely removed and it was making loud ticking sounds because it had increased cylinder to piston clearance and all those classic bore scoring symptoms that we have become experts in both identifying and addressing over the years. So here's another cylinder that was doing the same thing. It's not quite as bad, but of course the same scenario going on with it. Um, another one here, still not quite as bad, but still doing it. This one looks better. Um, this one also has it. So this cylinder had five, this engine had five out of six cylinders with classic bore scoring. Now, what I really want to show you as part of the moral of this story is what we've got here. This is the engine oil sump plate. So as I tell people, do not bar, bother doing a bore scope inspection through your spark plug holes, only go through the sump so you get the full experience of what you actually are gonna see for cylinder wear because the pistons cover it up otherwise. That another reason for that is so you can pull the oil sump plate off. What you see here is very black, okay? This is from carbon and from wear from the cylinder uh, wearing away and the piston wearing away. So we see a lot of hydrocarbons that are passing by the piston rings, making it into the oil sump. And we also see a lot of material that is worn away from the cylinders and pistons making it into the oil sump. This is really nasty, thick, black, heavy soot and wear, okay? Um, so if you pull a sump plate off and you see this black oil like this, really black, almost looks like diesel oil, you need to start thinking that you've got an affliction like this particular engine has. So go ahead, bite the bullet, remove these 13 perimeter fasteners. There is no gasket here. You can have this sump plate off of your engine with just a couple of hand tools in less than 10 minutes. It takes you longer to drain the oil than it does to pull the sump plate off. That means there's no excuse for you not to inspect your sump plate, okay? So if you pull it off, you want to do it to facilitate a, you know, inspection of your cylinders from inside the sump. You want to follow our focus on bore scoring series to be able to do that. You know, if nothing else, pull it off and clean the trash out of it, right? Okay. And make sure you seal it back up with the proper sealant in the right amount because you can put too much sealant in there and cause yourself some problems. So when you see this, and it looks like this, it's really thick, nasty black stuff like this, then you're gonna find this. And then you're gonna find your way to flat6innovations.com and you're going to start a ticket in our ticketing system and you're gonna tell us that you have classic bore scoring. That happens to us three to five times a week on average. Thanks guys, hope you've enjoyed this flat six minute from Renvision. Come see us for some more technical information when you get a chance. Oh,